Hey guys, Stephanie here. Um, I was just driving to my friend's uh, garden. I'm gonna help her finish painting this, but I came up with this analogy. You know, it's, I always come up with stuff when I'm driving and it's kind of funny because, you know, like, look at this. this I don't look great. I'm not like film ready, but it's such a great analogy that I really wanna share with you guys. And I think it's really important to, um, to talk about. Uh, over at my personal house, they are completely destroying the foundation. I know you've probably seen videos of it. And it's scary. Like the whole floor is being completely removed and it's becoming unsturdy, unstable. Um, there's huge chunks taken out of my foundation in my uh, floor of my house. And so even support beams are becoming less strong and sturdy and they're starting to sag in the roof. So things are starting to kind of crumble beneath it. And I think sometimes, well, let me just talk about this. I feel like that brought me to a really beautiful analogy again, because I always feel like I have analogies that, um, it's like God trying to teach me some things or remind me of things that I already know. And this one in particular, he was like, um, that's what I have to do in order to make your foundation stronger. Sometimes you have to make it really unsturdy and unstable. And um, I, that way I can rebuild it stronger and it will always be firm and strong. And everything that rests on top of that is going to be strong and secure and sturdy. So a couple years ago, uh, I had prayed and I just said, God, like, I need to know that you're real. I need to know that you're tangible, that there is something more. And uh, could you teach me? Could you show me? I also was going through just a lot of like trauma back to back, not just trauma, but like self-induced um, drama. And I remember just asking God, like, why is this so hard for me? I'm a Christian. I'm going to church all the time. Why is this um, so difficult for me. And he just gently told me, I need to rebuild your foundation. Your foundation has been on sinking sand. Um, yes, you go to church, but you don't know me. Uh, you don't truly know my heart, Stephanie, and I want to rebuild your foundation. And in that moment, as I was praying, I immediately felt my legs go weak. And then I felt this warmth go over my entire body. And it was such a beautiful moment because I felt the Lord with me there 100%. He said, I'm going to rebuild your foundation. And I'm gonna give you new legs to walk on that new foundation. And he did. He says, you're not gonna be on sinking sand anymore. You're gonna be on a firm foundation. My rock is what you're gonna walk on now. And in that moment, it was so beautiful because he really did. He had to break me down and rebuild the foundation. And from that moment on, everything just kind of felt, um, there wasn't as much chaos. There wasn't as much drama. I understood him more. Things are more sturdy and more steady. Um, trials come and you know things come floods come <laughs> in your foundation but it's still strong it's still sturdy and I'm able to handle things a little bit better now because he rebuilt that it was him it wasn't anything to do with me it was nothing that I did except for allowing him to so these guys are coming in and completely tearing up my foundation in my personal house and it's scary I like, think it's really scary to let them do that like I want to stop and be like no 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 <gasps> but I he helps remind me because of my personal situation with him that a strong foundation is needed in order to build what you're wanting to build for the future. If you're wanting to build something really big and really strong and really sturdy and you're wanting to build a bigger structure on top of that already existing foundation, you need to strengthen it. You need to put supports in it. You need to have really strong support in your foundation in order to build stronger and build bigger. So um, if you're in that crossroads today, I encourage you to push yourself. Push yourself to rebuild your foundation stronger. Know who you're standing on. You cannot have a strong foundation without Christ, just like you can't have a strong foundation without, um, like, what is that called? Rebar and concrete. You cannot have a strong foundation if it, it is not built properly and on the right foundation. So choose your foundation wisely and um, have a great day, guys. Love you.